just illustration. So if I, uh, uh, so say I had a cell phone, it started uh, buzzing, and so I picked it up without looking at the call ID, I just picked it up, and so I didn't know who it was. The voice on the line said, uh, hey babe, now if that's the first thing I hear, let me tell you what I'm not gonna hear after that. It's not gonna be, hey babe, this is Heather Platt, your wife of 18 years. Uh, so that's not what's gonna follow. You know why? Because as soon as hey babe came out, there was no question who was on the other end of the line. Like, there's no need for her, my wife, to identify herself at this point. Heather Platt. Oh, Heather Platt. Yes. Yeah, yeah. My, uh, my wife. Yes. Oh, yeah. 18 years. Oh, yes. Oh, hey. How's it going? Like, that's not the way that conversation goes. Why? Because there's a familiarity with voice and the way she speaks. It, it just immediately I know who it is and who's talking to me. I mentioned earlier the common question, how do I find God's will for my life? The good news, God's will is not lost. God's will is revealed in God's Word. Particularly when, so yes, we make decisions in our lives, our families, or in the church even, that aren't specifically spelled out in God's Word. So what do we do? How do we walk in God's will? How do we know what God wants us to do in those situations? Start here. Commune with God continually from the start to the end of the day. Oh, Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. Psalm 5, verse 3. So commune with Him, abiding in Him. Second, hear God's Word constantly. So just soak it in. In the morning, during the day, on His law, Psalm 1, 2. He meditates day and night. Be familiar with the voice of God. We're just soaking in His Word. We know His voice. We know His voice all the time, and we're listening to His voice all the time so that when we walk through decisions where we don't have a specific word from God, we're familiar with His voice. We're walking in step with His Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, let's receive this Word humbly in our lives and in the church. Let's crave it. Bring out the book. We want the book. We want the book. Let's receive this word humbly. Let's receive this word. Revere this word humbly. Let's receive this word continually and believe this word completely. Let's believe what this word says about our lives, how our lives belong to him, for him to do with and in and through them whatever he pleases. God, help us to believe what this word says about our lives. So just, oh, are you living in obedience to this word? Like, are you living in obedience to this word? Are there areas that you're in your life right now that are direct disobedience to this word, neglecting commands in this word? And as that conviction comes, I just challenge, I encourage you, repent, live in obedience and believe. You believe that, it'll change the way you live.